In this video, we'll be talking about five of our favorite rugby fitness tests. Hi guys, Jamie Bain here from RugbyRenegade.com where we help rugby players get stronger, fitter, faster and stay injury free so they can dominate their opposition on the rugby field. Today we're talking about rugby fitness tests and these are five of our favourite. They're not the only tests, they're not the best tests, they're just five that we think you'll be able to replicate at home without having too much equipment and stuff like that. Um, and we've got some good standards for you to try and hit. Uh, first thing to say about fitness tests, and one of my old coaches used to say this, the only test that really matters is on a Saturday. And that's true, these are just um, good for us to use to get a guide of, of your fitness and hopefully that's improving over time. It's not the be all and end all. Um, you know, the best rugby players don't necessarily have the best fitness tests and scores, but they want to be improving it themselves. So let's get into it. First rugby fitness test, it's a, it's a common one, it's a popular one, um, often seen down in New Zealand. Uh, the Bronco and, and kind of recently, uh, Bowden Barrett smashed the record on that. Um, so it's been, been in, the, in the news recently. Um, it's dead simple. Uh, it's three shuttles of 20, 40, 60. Um, there and back on each, and you do that five times, and obviously record, record your times. All you need is a stopwatch and some of the time where you can time yourself. Uh, so dead simple, dead effective, and bloody hard work. Uh, here are the targets for backs, sub 440, and if you get around the 423, that's a good target. Um, and then forwards, you want to be under five minutes, but shooting closer to the 435 to kind of point and start to challenge with some of the backs. Uh, other than being hilarious when you put a question mark at the end of it, the WAT test, it actually uh, stands for Welsh Anaerobic Test, uh, developed by the WRU, so it's a good kind of rugby specific test, as close to one as we can get. And it basically consists of cones at 0, 2, 2 metres, 5 metres, and 15 metres. You do a down up on the first cone, kind of figure of eight round um, the second and third, then you do a sprint out of 15 and back to the start. You, you time it from the starting time every rep, and then you add up your total reps, and you do it 10 times, one rep sign every 40 seconds. So you start on zero, do your second rep on 40, uh, third rep on minute 20, fourth on two minutes, and continue to you've done 10 reps. Add up your total, uh, and then your targets for backs, between 131 seconds, 138 seconds, and forwards, 136 seconds, and 150 seconds. So this next test I learned from Dan Tobin at Gloucester Rugby. Uh, dead simple test, all you need is a rugby pitch that's hopefully 100 metres long and it's one kilometre, so 10 lengths of the pitch, but here's the kicker, no rest, you just do 10 back to back as quick as you can. It's, it's pretty brutal, but it gives you a real good indication of just basic aerobic fitness um, and can be done pretty quickly and easily. Um, so targets for backs, 3 minutes 10 to 3 minutes 20 and forwards 320 to 345. We use it as a first thing back um, at the start of pre-season, kind of pass or fail, make sure you've been doing your off-season work. Okay, so our fourth fitness test is the M-Fix. I think, again, this originated down in New Zealand, I could be wrong, certainly Southern Hemisphere. Um, but it's really good because it looks at a few different energy systems, we get a bit more information. And it stands for Metabolic Fitness Index for Team Sports. So yeah, the beauty of it is you get a 100 metre sprint, uh, then 10 minutes. 10 minutes rest and of course that gives you a good indication of their speed but also their um, ATP PC anaerobic a lactic energy system. After 10 minutes rest you do a 400 so it's more into the anaerobic glycolytic system, lactic acid system. 20 minute rest, you can see it's quite time consuming, that's one of the criticisms of it. Uh, 20 minute rest and then fours will do an 800 meters and then back to do a 1500 meters. Um, and of course that gives you an indication of their aerobic fitness. So for backs on the 1500, target is um, between 525 and 535 uh, minutes. And for forwards on the 800 meters, two minutes 40 is a, is a very good score. And then anything below three minutes is acceptable as well. Okay, so the fifth and final test is appropriately named the impossible test. This is tough. Uh, this is a, an off-feet test. So if you, can't, if you can't run for any reason or weather's not great and you want to do just an offbeat indoor test is a great option. You will of course need a Concept2 rower, a Concept2 skier and a watt bike. Um, so the test, dead simple, one kilometres on the rower as fast as you can, you then get a three minute rest, then one kilometre ski as fast as you can, three minute rest and then you finish with two kilometres on the watt bike again as quick as you can. 
record and add up your total times and your targets are based on that. So for backs, sub 10 minutes is good and forwards sub 9 minutes 30 just because the longer levers they tend to be better on the, on the road and skier if you play. Uh, real, real tough test. It is, it's earned its name as the impossible test, but if you can achieve that, you've got a good basic, uh, basic level of, uh, well, a very good level of aerobic fitness. So there you go guys, five tough rugby fitness tests for you to give a go and see how you compare with the standards uh, to the professionals. Give them a go and let us know how you get on and of course any questions about them or, or other tests, hit us up in the comments below. If you like that video, please like it, share it and subscribe to us, we've got more rugby strength and conditioning videos on the way.